Item number SCP-2523 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Annually on August 15th, Mobile Task Force Omicron-13 Trick or Treat is to be activated. MTF-013 must begin a full Class W amnestic treatment regimen no later than August 20th. MTF-013 will begin the Class W dosage ramp down no earlier than November 7th and will stand down no earlier than November 15th. Activation may be extended up to 90 days at the discretion of the SCP-2523 project lead. Further extensions must be approved by both the reporting HR supervisor and the reporting medical officer. Beginning on October 1st, MTF-013 will conduct 24-hour observation of eight sites affected by SCP-2523, designated SCP-2523-A through H, which will include the easternmost and westernmost affected locations, as well as one additional site chosen in each U.S. time zone. On October 31st, one hour prior to local sunset, MTF-013 will deploy a two-man contact team into each designated site. As each location enters the anomaly, Teens will confirm positive contact and passphrase with each other prior to carrying out mission operations. Contact teens are to be relieved every 8 hours for 24 hours. Ejected team members must be replaced immediately. All teens within the anomaly must confirm positive contact and passphrase during each relief or replacement. Team members are to attempt to prevent non-monetary purchases by civilians, using low-profile social engineering techniques only. In the event that a civilian engages in non-monetary purchasing, they are to ascertain the civilian's identity and origin point, and advise the support team. Support teams are to immediately locate and detain any civilians who have made non-monetary purchases. Purchased items are to be confiscated for study. Detained persons are to be interviewed and then released following anesthetization. Ejected contact team personnel are to be immediately reclassified as Class E personnel, debriefed and quarantined for 366 days at a location at least 50 km from any key Foundation assets. Survivors may return to duty pending approval by the reporting medical officer. Currently, detention of SCP-2523-1 entities are not authorized. In the event that authorization is reinstated, Entities are to be secured with restraints consisting of a minimum of 75% iron by mass. SCP-2523 is a phenomenon affecting seasonal Halloween costuming and decoration stores in the United States and Canada from sunset on October 31st to sunset on November 1st. It is restricted to stores which are entirely seasonal, and does not affect Halloween displays and more permanent businesses. While the anomaly is active, the affected location becomes spatially co-located, regardless of geographic separation. Store interiors will overlay were sufficiently similar, such as similar display shelving will become a single shelf unit without duplication of products. Otherwise, the entire space expands as needed. Persons entering one location are able to physically interact with persons at all affected locations in real time and return to their place of origin when exiting. The affected locations remain open for the full 24-hour period, regardless of posted hours. At sunset, four to six entities, designated SCP-2523-1, will appear and relieve all employees. Entities are diminutive humanoids, estimated to be between 0.8 and 1.2 meters in height, with a variety of chimerical features from various vertebrates, as well as limbs and extremities that vary in proportion. See Appendix A, SCP-2523-1 for additional detail. These entities carry out routine retail operations, except for attempting to persuade customers to make non-monetary exchanges. At the end of this 24-hour period, they are relieved by scheduled human employees who typically begin closing the store for the season. Exposed persons will rationalize all anomalous properties of SCP-2523, including those of trades, entities, and objects originating from the anomaly, as entirely normal experiences. This effect extends to direct conversation with affected persons, as well as photographs and other direct recordings. This is an anti-memetic effect that Class W amnestic treatment combined with conscious reaffirmation of observed details has been demonstrated to neutralize. When a customer attempts to purchase an item during the anomaly, SCP-2523-1 entities will attempt to persuade them not to use monetary means to purchase the item. Instead, the entity will ask for a trade. Entities have accepted physical objects as well as more abstract concepts as fair trades. 
This has included hair, personal abilities, years of life, children, illegal drugs, memories, and emotions. For a full list, see Appendix B, SCP-2523 Non-Monetary Exchange. If the customer insists on paying with money, the entity will, with visible reluctance, accept. Customers appear to have permanently lost the traded quality in all cases that it was testable. Any item acquired by non-monetary means will manifest significant anomalous properties. The following is a partial list. See Appendix B for the full list. Item Anomalous Properties Exchanged for Prosthetic Vampire Fangs Wearer develops an uncontrollable desire to consume blood. Any vertebrate blood is accepted, as well as the ability to induce a state of extreme suggestibility via conversation. 30 grams of heroin A dark chocolate candy bar After consuming the bar, the subject lost all interest in food and did not show any signs of starvation, despite consuming nothing else for 28 days. The memory of a childhood family trip. 300 plastic spiders. Purchaser was inspired to consume the spiders. Following consumption of a spider, subject was able to excrete an otherwise non anomalous living banded spider from bodily orifices and direct it telepathically. The ability to sing. Sexy nurse costume. Wearer demonstrated markedly decreased sexual inhibitions as well as increased attractiveness to the opposite sex. Sexual partners reported mild anesthetic effects. An eight-year-old boy, current whereabouts are unknown. Decorative Trick Mirror Entities visible in mirror are deceased persons or pets known to the viewer. Empathy Bag of Roasted Pumpkin Seeds Seeds originate from SCP-097. A tattoo depicting the ranked chevrons of a United States Navy Petty Officer First Class. Tattoo was removed without scarring. Addenda Ejection Events the first ejection event occurred during initial containment on November 1, 1999 at 0110 hours and is typical of all later ejection events. Agent Mugnani attempted to physically block the entrance to the anomaly. A SCP-2523-1 entity emerged and asked Agent Mugnani to leave. Mugnani refused and began to suffer significant full body pain, which increased in intensity until he complied. Afterwards, Mugnani reported having bad luck, and statistical analysis determined that he and area where he was stationed were suffering a significantly high number of unfortunate coincidences. This condition ended with his death in a car accident on January 25, 2000. It is suspected as a contributing factor in 17 injuries, 4 fatalities, and 1 Category 3 breach event at area. Further testing has determined that this effect persists for 366 days. Once ejected, personnel are unable to re-enter the anomaly, even after the 366-day period has expired. Detention of SCP-2523-1 Entity Interviewed, SCP-2523-1 Entity with name tag reading Bobby Goodman Interviewer, Agent Rossetti Forward On October 31, 2001, at 2000 hours, MTF-013 agent abducted an SCP-2523-1 entity, the Site-17 for questioning and containment. It is described as having canine ears, a primate muzzle, and disproportionately long arms and legs. See Appendix A for a full description. Entity was successfully secured with iron restraints. Three O-13 team members were ejected from the anomaly as a consequence of the operation. Begin Log November 1, 2001, 0200 hours So, Bobby, would you like to tell me about where you work? I don't work, human. I sell things. Tell me about the things you sell, then. We sell delicious things, wonderful things, things of joy and darkness, things from the land of youth, things from the land of death, and the things from the border country. Come by. Who are you? <laughs> you humans. Always so forgetful. Such a delight. At summer's end, the gates at the border country are opened wide. We have come to sell our wares this time as we did in the… what is your word for the places in the shadow that cannot be reached from the now? The past? We are the in-between people, the border people, vassals neither the hot, radiant summer or cold, merciless winter. We are the autumn people. Why only seasonal Halloween stores and not others? Oh, the in-between places, they are ours. They too live only here, in the edge of summer. Why do you prefer to trade for things and not money? Money has no value. It is only a medium of exchange. We crave only things of value. For these we can trade in the world. How do you think we get the things we sell? 
We are the Autumn People, not Cobblers. Are you aware that the things you sell are problematic for humans? Yes, of course they are. We are a merry people. Our wares are merciful. End log. Closing statement. Following the interview, the entity was transferred to a humanoid containment unit and was extremely cooperative. At sunset on November 1, 2001, the entity vanished from containment, leaving behind a crude doll made of rough, unworked oak sticks, closing scraps of mineral clay. All milk products at Site-17 were reported to have instantly spoiled simultaneously with this event.